Hello gamers, welcome back to another guide. It's your host, Druid God here. Thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to be learning about the wealthy citizens of Varlamor and what is required to thieve them. Alright guys, before we get into the guide of the video, I would like to shout out OSRS Double I Pro here. He probably doesn't even know that I watched his video, but I sure did. He helped me get the proper XP rates that are more accurate for people around level 87 to 90, which is just what I would like to go off of because my thieving level is only 73. So I'll be leaving a link to uh, the video I watched of his in the description below. Check it out if you like. So you might be asking yourself, Jordan, what kind of skills and quests do I need to have completed to do this new content? Well, thank you for asking. You're going to need 50 thieving and Children of the Sun complete. Lucky for you, 50 thieving isn't too high and Children of the Sun is a very short quest. Alright, now what are the required items? Well, I don't think there actually are any items that you require at all to do this, but these are the items that I would recommend. I would recommend a teleport fortress in the form of one law rune, one earth rune, and one fire rune. Um, I have dust runes. But, don't mind that, it's Iron Man stuff. I would also recommend bringing the full rogues outfit. That's what we're going to be going with today. You're going to get double coins and double keys. It's amazing. I would definitely recommend. If you don't have the rogues outfit, it's fine. Just wear some fashion scape or something. Uh, another item I would recommend is the HP cape. Obviously, this is going to be for higher level players. If you do have 99 HP, you can wear an HP cape that will increase your hp regeneration which will be very helpful if you are thieving the wealthy citizens for longer um we'll get into that later i actually just let my hp regen um by doing the houses but we'll get into that later you can also bring high alks which i started i didn't at first but you definitely will need the high alks for some of these uh jewelry pieces coming in um you'll keep some of them if you're an iron man but not a lot of them um i would also maybe look into dodgy necklaces i don't know much about dodgy necklaces um i believe you well i'll put on on screen what they do sorry i don't remember what they do but i don't use them because i'm an iron man and i'm just not too interested but maybe it's something to use all right guys without further ado let's get into the thieving method itself first thing we're going to want to do is go to our magic spell book and teleport to fortis the level 54 teleport Once in Fortis, make sure your camera is angled north. I'm just joking. But once in Fortis, all we're going to do is run south to the bazaar. And I'll show you where there are a couple spots to thieve these wealthy citizens. Alright, so you'll see some players here actually waiting for some wealthy citizens to show up. Actually, here's a good example right now. Every 90 seconds, one of the uh, children in this gang... Uh, Varlamore thing... <laughs> Um, they'll come out and cry or dance or break their leg, you know, pretending and to pretty much distract these wealthy citizens. And as you can see, we are pickpocketing for free. This is like clicking the Arty Knights without clicking the Arty Knights. And as you can see, I've probably gotten some keys, you know, but I have gotten a coin pouch. Um, and that lasts for 20 seconds. So what a lot of players will do is stand here and alk or do what this guy's doing and stand here. Um, and just pickpocket these wealthy citizens like that because you're not going to take any damage. Um, it is pretty cool if you bring Alex here or something. I think that could be a fun way to train your thieving. Um, but yeah, so you can do it that way. If you're curious to the XP per hour, doing it with auto pickpocket only, it is around 60k an hour, um, I believe. But I think if you're going to fully train thieving, you might as well you know, keep pickpocketing them. Um, so we'll get into exactly how I do it. I am literally just going to keep pickpocketing them, even though my fail rate is pretty high. Um, and then whenever they come up here and get distracted by one of the children, um, I'm obviously going to get my free pickpockets in. Um, so do that. If you continue to pickpocket the wealthy citizens as well as as pickpocket, auto pickpocket these citizens, your XP rate will go from 60k to 90k. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing it that way. There is also one more place that I like to thieve these guys as well. It's just down here. Sorry about the lag here. Um, you can thieve this wealthy citizen as well as this one. And a child will also come up and distract one of the two, um, every 90 seconds. 
Alright guys, well that's about it for pickpocketing the wealthy citizens, but now you might have, like me, a decent stack of keys in your inventory as well. They do give a lot of easy clue scrolls. Um, and you might be wanting to do uh, the houses now, so I'm going to teach you how to do that. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to make sure you have that I maybe didn't go over earlier is you want to have your Alks ready because of the jewelry you're going to get and you'll want to make sure you have a chisel these are just helpful for longer periods of time for the statuettes that we're going to get anyways i'm still in the same place where we've been farming these wealthy citizens now we're going to take our action over to the west side of the map <clears throat> you're going to notice these three houses that have the thieving activity these are the three houses we're going to use it's very simple so let's go west Oh, here it is. So this guy actually just left their house. So when they walk far enough away, we're going to go ahead and break in here. Now, while you're in the houses, you can loot each house for three minutes before the owner will come back. So that's quite nice. And as you can see, it is quite AFK. We just got our first XP drop. I actually like this a lot more than, you know, thieving the wealthy citizens, to be honest with you. And it's pretty simple. I'll go over kind of the things we're getting here. Uh, the thing we're going to be thieving are these valuables. These valuables can be traded in for 55 gold each at a lady to the west of the bank. I will show you that before the video is over, so don't uh, mind that. Um, and another thing you'll get occasionally are statuettes. Hopefully we will get them. Uh, get at least one for the video. You can use your chisel on it to make little shards, uh, statuette shards that you can use on bones. Each bone will yield two more prayer xp each i believe okay here's a here every about 30 seconds uh you'll get one of these arrows and when you come and loot it you'll get a whopping 630 xp consistently um it's awesome i love it and uh see this is one of those those things that you'll want to high out unless you decide you're an iron man and want to keep it for some reason which is also fine um, the houses are about 75k XP an hour and 90,000 GP an hour, so it looks like um, it actually is more gold an hour to thieve, to pickpocket the wealthy citizens, maybe just not at my level. Alright guys, so our time is up. We see in the chat you hear someone outside spot the homeowner coming back. That means it is time for us to leave. The three minutes is up. Now I like to go run to one of the other two houses that we have to choose from here. Okay, so I know by memory now that the homeowner for this house is Victor. He's got a little fly swatter, or not a fly swatter, but it's like a fan, uh, <laughs> like fanning himself. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and break in here. All the houses are pretty similar. We're just going to go to like the wardrobes or the chests or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, the jewelry cases and just see them. AFK, every now and then you'll get an arrow. You'll want to click on it to get that 600 bonus XP. But other than that, it's fairly simple. Now also do remember that every house does have one exit window. Um, you'll want to know that because it's kind of small and you don't want to get caught. And you might be curious what happens if you do get caught. You just lose 90% of the valuables for the current house that you were caught in. So there's nothing to worry about really getting caught too much. You're just going to lose a little bit of your valuables. And here we go. Alright guys, and the last thing I wanted to share with you for this guide is turning in the valuables. So if we look on the map here, we're actually still just around these three houses to the west of the bazaar. And we're going to see this creature called Oriana. We're going to turn in all of these obviously, and we're going to get 55 gold each, and you'll get 65 if you're a champion in the new uh combat area all right guys i'm gonna wrap up the video here thank you so much for watching i hope my guide helped if you do have any questions for me in the comments let me know this content is actually very simple i thought it'd be a little bit more complex but it's also very enjoyable so i will be leaving a link in the description to oris rsii pro to uh the video i watched to get these xp rates as well as my own notes that i left for uh this video they're just little but they contain all the item requirements and the XP rates and everything like that at level 87-ish. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.